Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon and welcome to the second season of the University Alliance Cup featuring Valorant. The top 12 collegiate Valorant teams in the Philippines are all here competing to race that campus torch, a prize pool of over 100,000 pesos and the right to call themselves the best in the country and scholarships. I'm Dax and with me is, of course, the fabulous Terror and will be your shotcasters I for like today's it. match. I like oh. it. You look good too today, Dax. Don't worry about it. I got you. Yep. I got you. That's we have I got my attire. <laughs> you got it right. You've heard it from the man himself. We are playing for 100k in total for prize money. Okay, this is in pesos. It's huge, and especially on a collegiate level league. And it's amazing to see how these players have grown, developed so much. And we are on to our season two. You've seen the you've seen the player matchup basically, guys. And uh, right now, it's Oblation Esports versus Valiant Archangels. And uh, if you check it out, it's not like it's probably like a 50 50, you know, Ooh. with, with these two teams that we have for today, especially our uh, first match of the day. It's sort of like a 50 50, like uh, their scores, their standings. It's 1 1. Both of them are playing great, are playing good. They all know, like, they know each other. So we are right now seeing our group stages and how they are performing currently. Yeah, we see the standings right there. A little bit of that schedule. We'll have six amazing matches for you all. And we are going to be starting it off, of course, as Taylor has mentioned, with HAU versus UPD. Both sides looking to vie for position, looking to get past that 1-1 one, one standing. And the thing is, of course, they do just want a bit, a little bit of that tiebreaker in their group to ascend even further. Because after all of these weeks of action, the playoffs will only have that top three. And speaking of the top, let's check out that player matchup here between Fael and the Yellow Dash or pretty much the better ducks who I would the like to Dax, say the original the Dax, one <laughs> the, the real one he has the X okay I have the okay, KS okay, a little okay. bit different but what do you say Taylor we see um, a bit of an advantage right now for the yellow ducks in terms of his stats he's been absolutely insane in the past few days that we saw last weekend I know but still Fael is like doing a pretty great job in the uh, doing something for the team and he's like literally on fire for the recent matches that he had and as you can see right in front of us the player match up just says it all basically stats don't lie but it's not <laughs> far off right it, it's Absolutely. not too far off everything yeah. uh, anything can happen basically in the coming uh, matches that we have maybe it's not Fael's day today or maybe it's not Dax's day today right so <laughs> exactly. you may never know and the thing is if you are consistent consistency is the key for for all the teams and all the players basically and even with the pro scene and the collegiate league basically yeah. consistency is key we're gonna see that today as these teams play and uh, show off what they have for today yeah, you know it. And the Dax, though, amazing, amazing run, as you mentioned. He's really stepped it up, even past like the likes of Prophecy, who we expect to play even better later on. Fell in the meantime, as we saw from last season, always a hard carry for the UPD roster. And in terms of stats, very, very close to one another. The Dax having a bit more of the kills, combat score, eco rating, and first bloods, but also a bit more on the deaths. Just goes to show how he's really been impactful into well for his team and it, it was really a good component of why HAU is in this spot right now but both hard carries looking to show off looking to impress yet again six matches as you mentioned this is gonna be the first one between UPD as well as HAU and all about I guess a bit of a chess match here Tara because some of these guys know each other really really well and I wouldn't be surprised if they're playing like oh I know what you're gonna do, so I'm gonna counterplay it, and then they counterplay the counterplay, and then they counterplay the counterplay the counterplay, and then I'm just gonna say counterplay five million times because they're stacking each other up, they're fighting each other just like that, and it'll basically be basically uh, mind games. It's yes, basically exactly. mind games. Like you said, they know each other. Some of the players know each other in the play styles. Now, what are they gonna do differently for today? What are they gonna do that will surprise the other team or surprise even themselves? Right? Like, oh wow, this works. This play works. This play doesn't. So what will work for today, knowing that both of the teams know each other and know the kind of playstyle that they have. And uh, it's just pretty much basically how they will get the momentum towards the middle part of the match or like towards the late matches that we have. Especially, I think this is going to be a best of one series. This is the only yep. chance, basically. <laughs> this this is, is all the you got. only match. It's, it's, like you, it's like you say hi to an old friend, but then you realize you can only stay for like half an hour an hour at most and just like I'm 
I'm happy I got to see you, but I wish I got to see you some more. And that's really how the, some of these matches work in the University Alliance Cup. You get one shot against a certain opponent. And if you really want to impress, you got to win that. If you want to make it again to the playoffs, then you just got to take those dubs as much as possible. And it really goes to show that it is, sure, the start of the University Alliance Cup. But then again, every single match counts. Every single record is important. And it really takes your all every single week to just impress be the best and make it to the very end for that 100,000 peso prize pool. Something easy to do for the players as well, even though with the, this kinds of teams, like on a college level, we have seen a lot of players go way out into being uh, into the professional scene. And as we mm -hmm. look at the veto for our matches today, we have HAU banning split. And uh, for Haven, it's also banned as well as bind and icebox. So the first map or the only map rather <laughs> the first map, i'm so sorry i'm just so used to best of threes that mm -hmm. when it, when i see a best of one okay this is the map ascent is the map mm -hmm. uh you have seen this team play valiant archangels and uh, oblation esports with maps like this what do you mm -hmm. think i mean ascent is really a map i'd say many know in the Philippine mm -hmm. scene. You see in the professional side, you see in the collegiate side, and they do like to run some hyper-offensive comps here and there. They, I've seen Reyna being popularized. I've seen, of course, the Sova with the lineups and the Jet. And fun fact, I think I've seen the Sova and the Jet almost all the time all the in time. the past weekends. Like around 90% pick rate from our amazing stats guy there in behind. Shout out to the prod again for doing such a good job setting everything up. But it really goes to show that it's all about contact in the collegiate side. They do love to play it as hard and as fast as they can. They find ways to de decimate the, the defense and then just play a post plant in the end. And we really got to keep focus on how the duelists are going to play because that's where the power spike of each team really is. Who's going to be able to get those kills? Who's going to be able to get those takedowns? And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to be getting into those picks. And as you can see, there you have it. It's Arena already locked in here by Ablation Esports. In the meantime, Fire Archangels, will they actually play that comfort stage that we see also pretty commonplace in the UAC? Mm -hmm. A Yoruk. I can Ooh, see it. Yoru. Oh, no. <laughs> these guys are, these them, guys are trolling. Just, yeah, they're just basically messing up with us. But like uh, Dax said, mm -hmm. uh, UPD just locked in Reyna. We also have the Sova pick. Are we going to see that in uh, the side of HAU? Where we are probably. How important is Sova in this map, Dax? Uh, I'd say you know, the Sova, very important. Sightlines, just absolutely key. You can really see when you have your Sova, you can get some big sightlines. You can actually find opponents in those angles, in those sites. And A site, very easy to scan, completely open there besides the generator, of course. B site, in the meantime, you put it sometimes on the ferns to see the site. You put it in front of the shed just to see who is playing the lever. And from that point on, you just work very, very handily. One more thing, Taylor. When you play that Sova, when you get scanned, there are a lot of balls that you can hit with the Odin. Yeah, we'll probably see. We will probably see some Odin plays for today. And uh, with that question that I have for you, Dax, do you think like it's a must for teams who just want to start, you know, going into the competitive scene, especially with the Ascent map? Is it a must to have the Sova like a hundred percent? Uh -huh. Pretty much Sova anywhere, everywhere except Split. But here we are, ladies and gentlemen, gonna be getting into Ascent. Ablation Esports versus Art Valid Archangels, both sides up one a piece and don't forget guys we have a little bit of a giveaway going on right now if you want to get better at the fps games our partners at meta are helping us give away four keys to combat the world's most advanced aim trainer to four lucky viewers of today's broadcast all you have to do is share the stream on your socials with the team you're cheering for and we'll announce a winner at the end of the day so thank you thank you thank you to our amazing sponsors including Kovac right now we of course have globe telecom riot games switch student and valor ph as our partners but it's hau on the defensive up on the attacking side killjoy though a bit more popular than the cypher i've seen in the uac so far and what do you think what can the killjoy offer here taylor as we are getting into a lot the first of round? intel for sure a lot of intel especially with the alarm bot placed right in front of uh, like pizza or so whatsoever right so when you put it there it's just basically just leave it and i'll go around go to the site or go away from there as long as you have the alarm bot right there like anything could possibly happen. You can just detect players from up there. But Blast getting some damage. 13 HP left, very low. And uh, 5 versus 5 still. With a jet very much low on HP. 
it's gonna be a problem at some oh, sort. So. He just avoids the dr drone. He's like, no, don't see me. Don't <laughs> nope, see not me. Today. <laughs> uh, I'm not here. Uh, if I close my eyes, maybe he will not see me. And this wall has been broken. Knocked down. And there you go. Surprise, surprise. Puts away the first kill. And opening up B side seems like this is a blatant e port on the run and trying to execute the uh, blast. By Sushi. And here comes the dash on in by the shed. Closing that door. It's closing the door, going into the side, securing the plant. But so far, not yet being planted, rather for the spike. But Prophecy is just breaking the wall right now. Just breaking the doors, a blast with the smoke, trying to find people or trying to find the players of UPD. This is going to be a, re a retake for the team. And now uh, Terabyte just kills one up player, Portal for the trade, and he is out there. UPD not being able to uh, duel the players from HAU. And that retake round will go to HAU. Yeah, first round. Just a start, just a quick retake. What did you think? What did you think happened? Like, uh, why was the post plant like that? Oh, Killjoy! It's really just it. I love how Valiant Archangels really came on in. Sure, they let UP set up on the site, but then again, Terabyte just with the angle there. File goes down first, shutting down Reyna. So important on those pistol rounds. And he, he just takes two, he takes three. This is why you need Terabytes on your hard drives, ladies and gentlemen. And for HAU, it's a good start for the Valiant Archangels. But can they keep it up as they will get the buys right now? Four Spectres and an Ares. As we mentioned before, Sova and the Wall Banks might be the answer. And here we go. Scan. And Pixel, you might not see this coming as... Oh, there, there you go. He's dead. He's, he's very dead through the wall. Oh, we've seen this. You're like a... F <laughs> you're Nostra. You're nostra <laughs> <in> this. <laughs> Basically, you're nostra <laughs> this. Blast gets a kill on Bino. He's looking for another one right on mid. But he's not going to see anyone just walking towards our mid courtyard to the fountain. Trying to find players. They're playing aggressively. They know that they have the buys right now. They have the Spectres, they have the Iris, but they're not looking or they're not seeing any players. It's look. It looks like, is it going to be an A pretty soon? But a smoke from the Oven, a dark cover is is going to be there, but a Leer is prepared. They want to go in. Nano Swarm was activated. One person is under heaven. They didn't see. Oh, the reload, right? Oh my god! What? What kind of decision is that to put out the knife? And how does that even work? I don't know! Well, you bad man! You know, sometimes Taylor, when you when you see his name, you might say it as fail, but no, he no. is just gonna be an absolute no, win in that it's round. It's not a fail. Oh, I mean, oh, how would you come to a decision where you're right in front of a person or like right in front of a player that has a pistol even and just decides to knife him? Just because did it. why not? <laughs> He, he just says, I can tap the Spectre, I can tap the Classic, I don't care. I am just gonna stab you in the face, and it works. I, I love the Collegiate scene, okay? This is this is already the first day we're here, Taylor, and I'm already yeah, I already in love. I love it. Ablation Esports, they, they won my heart. Like, they won my heart also the last season. I remember being a witness to their first victory, and they're really that kind of scene where you, you just enjoy seeing them. But fortunately, the Knife Man himself, Bla uh, File, gonna be losing two blasts in that crossfire. Here comes Valent Archangels right now with the man advantage, but Oblation Esports taking control of the cubby and Pixel creeping on closer and closer. Might be someone through the door. That's gonna be DOS going down, and it's four versus four for now. The dash out was there, but at oh. least he didn't get seen. The blast securing the kill on that jet from UPD there right now. Looking for another person. He's he wants to go aggressive. He wants to go rotate or wanna go the flank, but if he sees him now. Where are they gonna go? They mm. want to go to B side. Nano Swarm is set up, but there's no more Killjoy out there, so it's just the Sova basically in the mm. B side. What can it happen here? Valent Archangels deciding, okay, they might be going A, but they do have that intel. They have that sideline onto A main. And as soon as Zushi drops down these smokes, it will be confirmed that B take will be the way to go. Interesting though, we have Oblation playing that Brimstone over the Omen. HAU in the meantime doing the other circumstance. And in this case, you have Regenerating Smokes versus the Burst Fire of Sky Smokes from the Brim. Molly gonna be very good for the postman also. But if this lineup of Zushi is from the Eldax rather, is perfect! Zushi 
gonna get burnt to a crisp immediately. And really, Suba nerd lineup's always good to see. Really goes to show how much research you've done. 2v2 for now. Berto always just fortifying himself. The yellow dash not going on down. And Bino is there to wrap it up. 2BD taking the first round for their scoreline. And after three rounds of action, we're 2 to 1 coming into this game. Finally getting that plant secured for the team for UPD. And I think Tortle is just on point with the shots that he took from uh, from that. And aside from that, the alarm button really helped trying to locate where the players of HAU were. And uh, it just so happened that, of course, the Killjoy a while ago, he was trying to lurk. He was trying to go behind them. He was just seen, basically, at the defending side. Oh. We all know that you should defend. <laughs> some as, point, you that, at some point, at, as you say that, as you say that, look, look at Blast. He's just like the casters are saying to defend, but no, I, I want to go hyper offensive. I want to oh, push with a classic. He, he had the blade storm, yeah. and now it's gone. Goodbye, blade storm, and hello. Here. Probably suffering, but Pixel close to the cubby here. This is going to be Ablation trying to creep on forward, but in the meantime, a bit of that mid side line and a good headshot there with the Classic, but no, the Vandal, a little too much to handle. Pixel will get that first kill, and now UP can decide where they want to go. It hurts. That's 20 HP left for our jet in uh, the side of UPT. And 5 on Fael as well. Dax wants to go towards this mid and try to get Fael with a very low on HP, he goes back. Has two back players, two players are very low on the side of UPD, you and they have to take the side. Okay. No way! What shot. a shot from Doss! And left. now they want to take on a side. Killjoy's uh, lockdown is there. They close the doors, and going now inside, checking all the sides and checking all the corners, just Stop making sure no one is around. See though, file down below. Saw the shock dart volley a while ago from Dax. Unfortunately, no one there by the doorway. And it's still gonna be anyone's game in a 4v4 situation. Time is ticking. Gun advantage there for UPD. Thus facing up against the turret, but counter lockdown gonna be the play here from HAU. The Valiant Archangels trying to fight back with their own Dome of Doom. And they're waiting for that, but the almost strike gonna be a big laser to shut that down the lockout done or lockdown rather but file getting those two kills is a big thing he gets remaining. to heal up one more Leah remaining and turtle just secures the round up for the team getting that spike planted and getting the win on the round it's a 2-2 score right now they are finally getting uh, the post plants that we want to see that we are expecting from the attacker side and it's crazy to think that the two players from UPD at the start have ver like very very low on HP and thus securing a kill with that uh, sheriff it was it just did the job you know I mean, it, it was very helpful there for Archangels, but unfortunately for them, UPD just having the guns they needed. And it seems like they've turned it up as soon as they got the rifles. This is the Oblation Esports experience where your heart will probably be in, in a roller coaster. You're going to go on the ups and downs of being an Oblation Esports fan, but you wouldn't have it any other way. Holy Angel University, though, on the other side. For Valiant Archangels, they are defending very, very well. Good rotates here and there, reading the opposition. But they still need to win at in terms of that gunplay. They still need to win out in terms of the arsenal and maybe that intel through the Isle drone from Dax could be giving them that intel to find a target as Fael plays in the courtyard and waits for someone to come. They, they want to go slowly, just trying to find the picks that they can get for uh, the players of HAU. And now UPD just decides, you know what? Let's recon B. Let's see who's there. And maybe we can go there. Might as well find out who is waiting. Every step head. they take, it will be noticed though. As here we go with the darts by the staircase. Doesn't see the killjoy though, I believe. And UPD, they're going in blind. This terabyte is just holding close to the speedway. Playing onto the corner though, waiting for someone to come and see the killjoy. And Turtle goes down, but Pino now with the answer. Empress will be popped here by Oblation Esports and Fael leading the charge. He wants to come close to the defender spawn here, Tayrar. And immediately Blast gonna get blasted from the pass. And Fael with that first kill on the board, backing on away as the Empress right now keeping the orbs up. Prophecy with the answer back. Pixel does fall. 
Tree versus Tree situation right now. All that matters is just securing the kills. And what should HAU do? The Regan Ball just last protects. Paranoia standing. comes in. Fael goes down and Sushi as well. The last person from the boathouse. He goes down and is secure for the defuse of the spike for HAU. And they take this round. That, that Paranoia Archangel. was just perfect. It it's, is perfect. It's so good, right, exactly. That's. It seems like when you go onto that B site, it doesn't become a site you can take. It's more like it's more like your gravestone. It's where you go in just to die. And we've seen it from the Valiant Archangels for the past few rounds that when they let you onto B site, they have a plan. Perfect, perfect paranoia from DOS. Just how they answered back against Fael's Empress was really a key component of that victory. And even though this is a close game, we're seeing right now how some of these players are, or some of these teams rather, are knowing Ascent so, so well. Just holding on to B like that, or retaking B rather, has been their call. But then again, an A take might be easier here for UPB unless they find openings on B. We'll find out as we get into another round. Triple stack though for the Archangels at a site. Someone playing in the middle here and trying to keep an eye out in the market area just in case. It's on Garden. Just waiting and looking to see if someone will just pop out, just get a tag on someone, or probably even get a kill, which he did. Killing off one of the duelists on the side of UPD and getting another one of the of the duelists that they have is a three versus five situation right up top. And then it's just crazy to see how one by one they get picked off by Blast right here. Bus is doing such a good job actually. He's finding the duels and he's been winning them. Now, UP gonna be at a very big disadvantage. They don't have their entry fraggers anymore. So they have to be careful and they'll have to execute with the single smoke that Zusi has. We'll see what they can do. The Killjoy waiting though on the other side. Time is also running out for Ablation Esports. And for the side of Valiant Art Angels, they're just left. happy right now to play the scans, play the shock darts. Dax here waiting for someone to come. And that one smoke from the sky gonna be the only saving grace here for Ablation. They're throwing that Sienna as well, but Terabyte already spamming down. Seems one. Bino will fall. Zushi in the meantime, he can get that kill, but that scan is perfect there from Dax. And Blast with a triple. They'll give Valiant Art Angels the two round lead. Right off the bat, uh, two duelists goes down in the hands of uh, HAU. That just made sense on how they won this round. It was difficult to go in the side, especially on the B side, where you have only one smoke. Although you still have the Soba for, for their recon or uh, the, the info that they can get. But still, you don't have the entry fraggers. You don't have the flashes out there. You only have a smoke, basically. It's so hard, right? And you make such a good point there. Get One sky smoke way. isn't going to help you. That's why you see the Omen a little more commonplace into the meta. But then again, it's just how Oblation Esports is going to run with their initiation in the first place. They sky smoke immediately into the middle, so that's one going to be gone there. I think they also smoke down into B main, so it's going to be two They already. just decide to wall yeah. off. It's just a wall, like, though. It's nope. like, nope. <laughs> exactly. No revenge. It's... They want to take revenge on Blast. Like, yeah. probably he's going to stay here again on Garden. Maybe we can pick him off, but nope. There's this. a wall. You don't see this too often, and I like it here no. from... The Valiant Archangels, they're being very cheeky against their opponent. They're trying to slow down whatever Oblation wants to do. And it really goes back to the point of how Oblation is using their smokes very, very early on when they don't really need them for the execute. So without those smokes, it'll be harder right now. Time is ticking though. The wall is broken and Prophecy has to dodge that late storm. He has to keep alive and that pixel going down. Another one though might fight to the soon as Zuchi's gonna get pulled down there. Mid. Great lineup from Prophecy so far. And things are looking good here for the Valiant Archangels. Enemy remaining. Oh, clean up though. Dog, Prophecy. Prophecy. Just getting four kills and four or three of those kills. He didn't see the opponent even. <laughs> That's okay. just crazy. Just flicking off each each member of UPD one by one inside the smoke. Or like just a pixel of an inch of a like a pixel of a corner. He just sees them, fires off, gets the headshot, pops another one, gets another kill. They didn't expect that there would be a wall onto that side of a uh, garden and they just waited, you know? And while they were waiting, they realized like the wall is gonna come up and right in front of the wall they stand, <laughs> which was perfect for the sage. Hold the wall. Just, you know, you know, <laughs> hold hold, you know this is a, a whole wall right there or whatnot. But then again, 
still looking good here for the Valent Archangels. They're really running away with this game, Taylor. And you can see that their defense just involves stifling Liu as much, much as possible. But then again, UP, they want to go in fast. And Terrafight goes down immediately. Fael with that takedown. b side now right for the taking here for Ablation. But how will Valent Archangels flip the script? Is it going to be a trap or is it going to be a fast take working out? Spike planted. No Hunter's Fury was used. The doors have been broken for the side of HAU. They have four members still remaining, still alive, but Slat goes down and UPD just taking kills one by one. Staff is the only player remaining. He gets one kill. He's looking for another one, but Fael just securing the 4K on this round and clearing off the side and clearing off for the post plant and gets another round for UPD. Five to three is the score. Yeah, great quad there. And you can see how quickly UPD plays this one out compared to the previous rounds. And that's what you want to do with this kind of lineup. You're playing Reyna and Jet together. So you're playing hard contact with the Leers that don't blind your teammates. And of course, that Brimstone is a big commitment. Speed the kills, and that's really the key to the kingdom here for Oblation Esports so far. If they can keep takes like that up, it will work out so well for them. But then again, it's still double sentinel on the other side. The stage and the killjoy, so good at stalling for time and very dangerous here for UPD. They tried to peek with the turret but people were watching on the other side and that slow orb getting value already for the Valent Archangels. Slow orb and the wall as well towards Garden is there. Dos just destroying the doors for a for a quick retake just in case they go and uh, looking at how the Killjoy setups for HAU with how fast UPD pushed in to the site a while ago do you think that maybe probably you could like set up the traps close to the entrance of b site or not well, you, can. you can because it's always a good way to stall, stall for time but the speed really of oblation was a bit unparalleled i say sure you get one nano swarm out but then again the reina and the jet are already there and it might be a 2v1 slate so we'll see how valent archangels adjust and you already saw it actually taylor because an operator is into play and as soon as that gets heard it will be a smoking gun that will be of course watched out for by ablation esports that's for sure and having a, like hearing an operator makes me scared in normal games okay <laughs> one Kills. more on these types of games but they are inside a side right now the hunter's fury being used just trying to get Spike the people from upd one by one prophecy just getting two kills that on the other hand for the shock guard Ten trying to deny the plan eight seconds to plan he gets the plan now it's time for Fael to take on some kills that he can get on the Jenny and that blade storm won't not connect basically. Fael gets another kill, but nope. Prophecy. Just there to stop everything what Fael is doing. Uh, no highlights like for you. No highlights <laughs> for you. <laughs> I mean, Prophecy deserves it. He got a quad kill again, and he's really been holding on to the garden so very well. It feels like he has an investment with all the plants here on Ascent, and you can really see that he's finding ways to clean up everyone else that isn't Fael. But Fael cornered there down in hell, and he says, I'm taking you down all with me. Unfortunately, though, there's a double peek from Prophecy alongside their jet. And the Valent Archangels right now keeping up their lead. 6-3 to three the score line. And what do you think here, Taylor? What's the best thing Ablation can do? do? Do they have to snipe down this Operator? Can they just rush on in? What's the plan right now for the attacking side? At, uh, going to the side or B side, I think, just work for them better. But that's just me. Because they can go in fast. But uh, the, the Jet is right there with the Operator. And now uh, one week smoke. Just tease off the players of UPD. The lockdown is there to try to push A. Yeah, we'll see though. Time is ticking, and here we go with Zushi right now. Even catching out the yellow ducks. Seems like A site right for the taking right now for Ablation Esports. And they even get a detain along the way. So Valent Archangels will struggle right now to play this out. They have an op and they're looking for the shot. But Blast unfortunately seen there by Fael. They can't also play force the lockdown here because the Hunter's Fury is available for Ablation. We'll see if they go for the trade of ultimates. They're breaking down the door though. And Fael might be first contact against that stage. And Prophecy didn't see that coming at all. Seems like his own fate has been sealed there by being uh, located by the recon vault and just a firing squad right in front of him <laughs> three people just firing it down you know what let's end this no more chances 
But I think that's the best way to play out uh, most of those types of situations, you know? There's only one player remaining, go all together. We've seen a lot of teams, a lot of times, even on the, like, the biggest scene that we have in all competitive, that one by one they get killed off and the, the other team just secures the round, you know? <laughs> it does feel like the funnel is a big uh, component of these games. It's like, oh, my turn, my turn. It's they like, they want to push turn. this. Yeah, maybe, maybe you want to go for it. But hey, speaking of that one, yes, it's a push here onto B main. Judge in hand. The Valid Archangels, they're playing a risky, risky game. But if they catch out the Blation here, that will pay off. But no, Zushi already saying, I'm going to cut you up like fish. And Blast going to get turned into pace there immediately. UP with the advantage. Just right in front of the judge of that Killjoy. He gets a tag on Killjoy. 84 HP for Zushi. Terabyte 4 HP remaining. Very low. An alarm bot detects someone from Pizza. And File just goes back. A good decision, basically. Yeah, I love this rotate here from Blation. They know that they can actually catch out Terabyte here. He only has a sliver of HP, but the judge will execute two immediately. Take your corners, ladies and gentlemen, because there might be a surprise for you. 3v3 now, and UBT coming out of that one. A little bit disadvantageous, because Holy Angel University, they get rid of the Sylvan leader side, but Turtle now with the refrag, making it 2v2. Set up the turret, Turtle, because you need to be ready with your shell. And UP now playing both house and playing to defend this fight. Prophecy walking towards these the alarm, but they know they now know that there is someone. But Last Prophecy just securing yet another kill. A quick reload, a quick heal, almost getting the kill. But Tornal just getting the final blow, securing the round for Team Last UP. Round before the six switch. to five, and this is the last round before the switch. You know, uh, it was nice that UPD has still has turtle you know you have the yep. turret you have the alarm bot and you have the nano swarm remaining for the post plant it's such an essential thing for upd to secure those because they are really having a hard time securing post plants especially if there are no traps set and uh, there are no information where the team or the other team is i i had a pet turtle once actually Taylor. really you know, it, it died pretty Stop easily. It. You know, you know why? Because it didn't have traps like Turtle. I I gotta say. Uh... So if you ha if you want pet turtles, ladies and gents, you just wanna you know give them a nano swarm, give them an alarm bot to alarm bot. You know, put them in an aquarium, and you're you're gonna keep them safe. See, Sentinel Turtle, Sentinel Turtle <laughs> works. It, it, it the map checks out. It works. It but works. then again, <laughs> I'm a sad Ooh. now. I remember my turtle. Okay. But hey. <laughs> Theory. We'll see though. Pixel, he's actually yeah. avoiding it. He's using it as a push, and I like this a lot from Ablation because they say lightning can cover our tracks, and if Pixel can zoom on in quickly, Prophecy exposing his position with a slow I arm, and here comes the jet. He does get that kill. UPT on the prowl, but the wall is in the way. The wall is truly in the way, but they destroyed it or they broke it already. And now Turtle is still alive. He can set up more traps for the team. The plant is there as well. A 5 versus 4 situation. They are now waiting for players from heaven to come out, to pop out. Maybe, you know, just getting an intel on that TP from the Omen. Dot. Orbital strike though, getting the hit. Blast in the meantime with a kill on the Vael. And Dax here playing the high ground for now. Turret saying hello and goodbye to that one quickly. But then again, beat from AMA not gonna happen. As Dax sees him try to come through the smoke. It's three kills already here for Holy Angel University. And they're looking to execute Turtle on the spot. Dax drops on down to get the takedown. And the half will end with the Valent Archangels with a two round gap. Great three take yet again from the Valent Archangels. And their defense gives them that lead. Celebratory Switching Hunter's sides. Theory right before the, the round ends or the other half or the half rather but the Dax kill the original Dax yes <laughs> the, well, the Dax I, I, kill I mean through the smoke it just did the thing you know it just did the work basically cleaning up the players from UPD one by one and that was a huge kill from DOS securing that and uh, with that 7 to 5 is our score the switch is already here, the defense side for UPD, and on the attacker side, it's HAU. To all the people who are watching right now, this is a best of one series for HAU or Holy Angel University versus the University of the Philippines. 
You know it, and it really is just the group stage right now coming to another header. This is our first match of the day, ladies and gentlemen, and already it's quite a banger as Blast is already just hitting his way to victory. Tortle goes down immediately, Frenzy in hand here for the Jet, gets healed up. Surprise, surprise, fell in behind Sushi, also burning down the yellow dots there. Can the Reyna hold the line? Still has one off to play around with, tries to go for the Nivar, but does get chased by Dos. And immediately the Omen will execute, prevent the heal, and allow Bound Archangels to get the plant down. UPD playing for the retakes. They just allow the basic player standing. HAU to push in the side, and they know they want to get the retake. Instead, they are prepared to get the retake. Pixel knows that the player or the terabyte was there, just dashed in, but Sova securing the kill and now defusing the spike. Sushi. With this kind of situation, Dax. Do you prefer like to stop the players as soon as they come in or just play for retake? Just wait out and play for retake. No, well, it really depends on the comp you're running. And if of course you have Turtle there trying to hold on to B side. So what he wants to do is stall for time and allow his team to rotate. But besides that, everyone else can just go, let's go for kills, you know. We can pretend that we're attacking. We can pretend that we're sieging onto a site. And it really is their plan to be as quick as possible. Oblation Esports, they have to go fast time and time again. But sometimes they're getting caught out there by Valent Archangels. This time though, it did actually pan out for the defending side. And we'll see if Ablation can keep it up, tie up the scoreline. Turret though can say hello to Blast immediately. Smoke's still in the, the way. Slow Orb right now, gonna be the play also. Wall is there, and the Valve Archangel just thinks, oh, yeah, let's build up a base, let's build up a foundation. And Torzel, just inside enemy lines, gonna go to fall to the hand of Terabyte as the Valve Archangels will take the side again. They all just wanna go to both house yeah. and they realize that oh wait we have we have to plant the spike. <laughs> now they are and no, objective no, guys no. objective guys revealing it or reason lord rather from the sova to know where the players are he detects two and now with the judge pixel getting the kills securing the run for team upd that was a quick retake from these guys the paranoia is just out there and still Oh my god, UPD. A quick Recon. replay of what happened. Look at that, Recon Bolt on the tree. Apparently, these guys loving nature too much. They don't even bother shooting it. And suddenly, Pixel just tears everyone apart with that judge. Yo, oh. shotguns. They're good. They're good in this game, They're Taylor. Do you know that? Sure, especially with the jet and the dashes. Although I want to correct myself that it wasn't the paranoia. It was the leer of Fael that was yeah. blinding everyone there on the site. It was the perfect leer and the perfect recon just to take onto the site. And they just lined up to that judge, you know? Just kill me. <laughs> just, just take me now, Lord. Just it's take just me now. I'm it's blinded. Not gonna happen. I'm, I'm blinded. seen by the recon. Just kill me. <laughs> I, I see I see the light and it's not very pretty. In this case though, <laughs> we are all tied up seven to seven. And apparently, yes, the roller coaster of UPD still continues to the season. Found Archangel in the meantime. Many of these players, such high performers, you can really remember their names in the collegiate side. But we'll see right now who can get the edge as finally both sides will have the arsenals, will have the guns they need, but Pixel. He still has his judge here, and if anyone comes close, it'll be bad, but okay, blast already. The entry frag from this guy is just so, so substantial, and the first kill gets on the board for the bound Archangels, but Pixel might see one more to execute. My gun now. The Vandal. Terabyte, although, wants to trade up, but he's not seeing anybody, and Pixel being blinded. Reyna killed. Blast there the you terabyte. go. Clean up from the side of Valent Archangels. It's 3v2 though for now. Turret gonna get placed and Dos says, okay, let's put this spike down. But UP, they still want to fight back. And they're trying to find some guns they can upgrade with. Unfortunately, it's all Spectres on the floor. The Stim Beacon might be enough to up that fire rate and give them a chance. Push now from Ablation. But Dos already knowing that doorway is where they're at. And of course, as for his namesake, Dos gets two. One and two. Easy lineup, easy takedown. And the Valid Archangels keep the lead alive. Seven. I mean, not that far. Like I said a while ago, it's just like flipping a coin between uh, these two teams that we have for today for our first match. And it's not like we are seeing a huge advantage from the team. It's 8-7 and we just started the round. The momentum is towards the person or the team that gets the 
the pistol around that we have to buy those guns and now with the operator on the hands of upd how will this come into play for them uh, let's see though let's As, see of course an op always makes a difference oh, it's a hello. Big investment. okay pixel Perfect shot. Maybe if he moved a little bit to the left, he could have gotten the collat. But then again, beggars can't be choosers. And right now, we're choosing to just enjoy that operator getting value. It's a big investment though, Taylor. Because the rest of the crew are not really playing the best guns. You can see Thornton right now. He has a stinger Missing and light armor. It's very forced out here by UPD. And I really feel like this is such a make or break round for them. If they lose that op, they're going to be losing so much on the economic side. I mean... But in the other side of the world, or in the other perspective of things, if that operator just picks off the players one by yeah. one, if it makes them scared to go inside <laughs> because they, they just know that the operator is there, then it makes sense. It, it, you can definitely, it's a big thing for, for the team, basically. But still, with the Spectre or like the Stingers running around, I'm it's like. Handle, like a frenzy on steroids, you know. <laughs> and then Ooh. what's the old? Okay, almost another. I thought almost that was collab. a lineup. I thought yeah, that exactly. was a lineup. Second time didn't happen. Three v four though. As well does get caught. I love what Terabyte's doing right now. Puts a nano swarm there, and this does force a Sova out. And Dino gonna get burned to a crisp. Lock Nando ticking on down, but time is running out. And if Thornton can left. get this kill before he gets oh, detained, yeah, but no, he decides to run out the open just to die. It's 3v1. Holy Angel Spikes University down. given the time to plant the spike down. And all eyes on Pixel right now. He not only has the operator, but also the blade storm. And will he unleash it his full might right now, Taylor? We'll see as we get into post plant. Pixel still has the blade storm up and running but i don't think that he wants to risk that anymore especially with the operator on his hand in his hands basically he just he's just probably gonna save which is what he's doing right now yeah right call just back on the way and it's just so unfortunate from what we saw there it really was a good opportunity for up to basically catch out one with that stinger and prevent the plant they didn't even need to kill everyone from how long valent archangels did take to make that push happen in this case it's still going to be a round taken by the attacking side. They now know that Pixel has the Operator. They also know that some of the opponents, some of the players of the defending side, not going to have the buys that they need. And you can see it right now. It's going to be a very tough economy here for UPD. Sure, the op stays, but at what cost? It is just going to be a bit of a broken buy right now for the defending side. A broken buy indeed. And uh, that's going to take a toll on the team. Knowing that once a team goes to like a double digit score, it's difficult to have those difficult economy rounds or economic advantage from the team. And it's really tough to not get the rounds by this point. Yeah, it's gonna be even harder there. And of course, when we get closer and closer to that magic number 13, and you already know that the pressure will pile on. Best of one, one chance to face up against your rival. And okay, that crossfire indeed will get broken immediately as Blast gets rid of Vino. Good turn around there. Turtle in the meantime, reacting a little too late. And the Valent Archangels, they take care of business. They take care of two. And they're on to B site again here, Taylor. Spike plan. New PD wants to go or plan for the retake, but it's not gonna happen. But Pixel getting the kills one by one from the team. He knows where oh, this player is. Oh wow! No charges left. He exposed himself Don't too much. On to the left side. Don't be broke. Boss, securing the kill. The dismiss from Fael. Looking for another player. One versus two. This is actually winnable for him, but the time is ticking. Clutch time for Fael. Can he actually do it though? Peek there from the boat has will say no. And Prophecy, you know, in his name, he is an absolute prophet. He knows what to do, where to position. And this is why the Valent Archangels are in the lead with 15 kills there for the Sage and the Jet. 14 for Terabyte. But Fael, of course, the hard carry performance that we expect. 19 on the board for the Reyna, but it's not enough as of yet. Few things or key things that happened there was Tortle having a clear shot on some of the players of uh, HAU, but it didn't connect. Basically, he just let the Sage pass, the Jet pass, and uh, as he go outside of logs, he don't know where to look. 
<laughs> you can't see anything, so I'm like, I, I guess I'm gonna stay here instead. A little bit, you know, a little bit curtlish on the reactions there. But then again, we all know that Blation Esports, these guys can make a comeback happen at any time. So we'll see when they step it up. Zushi, though, Stinger in hand, unfortunately, not lethal enough. Prophecy will get that takedown wall right now into play also. But then again, you can see that Yuffie can use it. And surprise, surprise, it's a jump scare there from the Soba. The jet also gonna be felled immediately. All eyes on Turtle again. Can he make the 1v5 happen? Can he actually stand a chance against the Valent Archangels? Seems like it will be though. Doss going down as he's jumping around. But Blast is there to get the refrag. And it's now two away for Holy Angel University to take this game. Counts, and they secure the win against UPD. That's in the predictions that we have on the page of Akadarina. What did you predict this match would turn out to be? Oof. Uh, I think I put the Archangels on it, and, and they're just free, pretty much on fire right now, and you can see why. I can see. I can definitely see why. They're just like a stronghold of a team, and they just work together, mash together real good. There are some of mistakes, of course, from the team, but right now, with how this team plays, it's good. It's 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 better than good. It's it's gooder, good arrest. Gooder, good arrest. Good arrest. This is this is the English cast guys, and we make words up. But it really feels <laughs> like that that they know Added what to the they're doing. <laughs> Added to the, maybe I'm gonna I'm gonna call Miriam Webster right now. Please, uh, please do this. Please Thanks. Gooderist. Oh, you know you can tweet at the dictionary sites, really? and they actually consider some of the words that you say. But I don't think good arrest is one of them. But prophecy will get the first one there. File will go down, and that's two. Make that three in a row for the side of HAU. Clean one as a whistle, remaining. doing the things that they need to do. Blast right there, blasting Bino I down, planted. surviving the shot. And we see the similar situation here. Deja vu! And this time, it's the same spot to die in. Turtle gonna get cleaned up. Holy Angel University. They're one away from ascending to a 2-1 standing. Point. That's basically Turtle's tombstone. Right there. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> right there in the corner. That's where I buried my pet turtle. We're going, we're going full circle now. Full circle. Oh, Just deja oh, no. vu. Over and over again for two consecutive rounds. He dies in the same spot. But we are on to match point for HAU or, or Holy Angel University. And they might take this win against UPD. With the buys that they have, I think this is a gun round for everyone. And this is going to play fairly to both sides of the teams. But the thing is, how will you play? What is the system? What's the P? What's the plan? What's the what's the P? The plan <laughs> is okay. Just up here. I like I like this that one. What's the, this what's is the this P? is the P. This is the P right here, Terror. It's just rush in and get those takedowns. And with Fael falling first, that's prime target destroyed immediately. Hunter Shuri the call, but Blast is coming. And you better watch out. You better not cry because the Blade Storm right now gonna tell you why. But then again, the Guardian is there to get the one tap anyway. 3v2. Holy Angel University with the advantage. And they're getting that timer ticking down as Pixel breaks the door just to break his face. Dos will get that kill. And now it's all eyes on the Sova here, Terror. Can Bino do it? One, one man advantage. He can get this for sure, but it doesn't connect. It doesn't win. happen. And hunted. Holy Angel University getting that round and securing the match for themselves. What an amazing play. What an amazing match that we have here today. It was a 50-50 chance between the two teams that we have, but they just managed to win it. What do you think happened on those rounds? Yeah, and you mentioned that coin toss, and we saw it for so long. The, the gap was so close. But then, apparently, someone switched that coin to a two-headed one, and it was just all Valent Archangels from the second half. They just ran away with that lead, kept getting win after win, finding ways to execute, finding ways to get those takedowns. And Holy Angel University, they've really stepped up their game yet again. These guys have just gotten... Even better, I'd say, or as we do mention, gooder, good arrest. Good they really, they really impressed because they've always been a really strong team already, and they did it even better this time in a convincing manner. They found the clutch in them. We saw time and time again, blast just blasting off and taking care of business so very quickly. Prophecy in the meantime, he just knew where to go. Terabyte there, and everything really worked out for Violent Archangels. Their defense, their offense, things all checked up, and they took that win just because of that. I think they probably have the better shot, especially with on the duels that they have. The duelists 
that they have and uh, with the side of UPD just having those duelists picked off easily it was a big hit on that team and uh, just HAU managed to get those kills just manages to fire those shots the perfect shots the perfect blinds and the perfect retakes for their team just yeah. basically made it happen. So congratulations again to Holy Angel University's Valiant Archangels for yeah. winning this match. Yeah, they, find, they get that win over Oblation. And you can really see when they lose Fael early, it is a lot more difficult than mm -hmm. anything else. Yeah, sure. Pixel, sure, stepping it up. But then again, you know, operator plays are also a bit too risky. And with them losing to Blast like that, then it just all falls apart for Oblation Esports. So that's a victory there for the Bad Archangels. They will take the win of our first game for today. We still got more to come here, ladies and gentlemen. We have five more matches all throughout the day. You are tuning in right now at Akin Arena PH for the Switch side for English. Of course, we have live on Facebook as well for the Filipino side. And we're just happy to have you here. And we're very happy that we are also getting so much from you guys and also from our sponsors the university alliance cup would be a thing without our amazing sponsors and partners uac 2021 is powered by globe telecon our official telco sponsor riot games our publishing partner twitch student our platform partner and of course callback 2.0 by the meta our train trainer and valent ph for the community side that was the first match ladies and gentlemen and we will be taking a bit of a break when we return it will be dlsu versus usa next and you want to be tuning in for that i've been dax she's been terrar and we'll see you guys in just a bit <laughs> 